Hello everyone, I am Loki616 and I'm back playing some more ranked games of scrolls. First off, I'm going to apologise for the abrupt end of the last video. Um, I saw the guy that I needed to pay to enter the competition, so I was like, let's do this before I have to go through some convoluted method to find the guy again. So, yeah, this is where I ended up. 586th, pretty good. I'm not too bothered by it. Um, I now rank at General 2 or something to get into in automatically. Um, although I think that's done more on the number of people currently available, which is like... Yeah, thousand or so. So, that's probably what's going on there. I think it works like that. Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. I'm ignoring. Let's play some more games, shall we? Um, ranked match. Oh, no, not all the older sides good. Older side does not work. Let's do this again. And... I want an actual full match, not this, oh, I did something really dumb, I'm going to surrender thing. That was, that was annoying, wasn't it, folks? Just the, oh, wow, I accidentally po for your guy so that my move completely doesn't work anymore. Let's, uh, let's GG out. Okay, let's, good luck, have fun to Moa, who's currently got a ranking of decent, uh, 716, not bad. Um, it's, it's, it's such a good starting hand. I don't want to throw anything because I don't know what I'm playing against. Uh, Spearman against Alder and Grove. Kabonk against pretty much anything. Flip against Energy Alder. Oh, just mm, right. Okay, I'm gonna throw the skirmisher because I've got a lot more of them. Like, I've got six skirmishers in the deck. Which means that by the time we get to four, there's a chance I will have drawn another one. And we're up against growth, which means that I wanted that card, really. Um, oh, I can throw the flip now, I think. I'm fairly happy to just throw the flip away. Um, yeah, because I'd rather have more generals. Generals! All the generals. Yeah, if you can time the generals right, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's rare though. Ooh, Kabonki. Focus. Now, do I want to get the spearman down? Yeah, let's get the spearman down now because I can Kabonk next turn. Um, so let's throw that. Let's play that. I'm actually expecting um, Moa to buff this guy to the point where I just can't kill him. But maybe not. Maybe she'll just move him. Ooh, oh, Grove Alder with Kinfolk at the start. Pothering? Really? Dude. Uh, I suppose it's just draw a card in it. But, you know, why not just sack it later on? Um, I am still going to kabonk that kinfolk. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, uh, yeah. Yay. Uh, the reason I didn't sack before I played there, because I didn't want to sack what I had and I knew I'd get something from Kabonk, which turned out to work quite nicely. Um, if you're sacking for scrolls, do it at the start. I do know this. I have been repeatedly told this by... And it's, it's not just the guy who comments on YouTube. Um, yeah. I have been told it a lot by a lot of people that that is a really bad way of playing. <laughs> Not sacking for cards first. But. Mm, ooh, Gravehawk. Nasty. Uh, Gravehawks normally get plus attack for Gravelocks. Yeah, for more Gravelocks in the deck. Oh, uh. Mm, oh, uh, yeah. Right, sack him. Play him. T 
see, I was tempted to sack the cards there, but meh. This way I get the Honourable General next turn. Get down some big cards, because this deck really gets going. Like, the, the Growth Order deck really starts to ramp really freaking hard. Like, turn 10, round 10. Like, the ramp gets ridiculous. Ah, oh, frack. Ah, oh, frack. Okay. I suppose I was going to do three damage next turn anyway, so meh. Uh, um, I kind of don't want to throw a general down with this bald position, but at the same time, I also kind of do. Alright, there's no relentless on the field. I don't do feel too bad about throwing this guy down yet. But. Watch how there's a Pother and somehow enough focuses to kill that guy. <laughs> I'm a pessimist at heart. Uh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, so she's... Ha, huh, that is actually a she. Wow, I did it. Um, she's not going to get plus attacks because grave locks and, uh, and all that are in. Oh. That's just mean. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, well. Bye-bye. And I'm almost certain that there's no hastes unless uh, Moa just top decked one because she would have used it last turn to kill off more of my stuff. Dratic power. Ooh, pain. Watch how there's now a haste. Well done for top decking that haste. <sighs> yep. And yet, we're at round seven, and I feel like I'm ramping harder. Right, screw it. I'm going to get up some advantage here. Yeah, that works. How now, brown cow? Uh, I'm going to start playing bottom. Possibly top. Probably top, actually. Because that Drydic power stops things moving around that crossbowman. I mean, I probably, if it was me, would have moved that crossbowman to the front. Because it's pretty tanky now. But it's getting in the way of literally everything. Um, Potha? That was an odd pother. Okay. Yeah. See, I would have pothered the Drydic Power person just to get them to move. Okay. Now comes the point where if this person was playing a growth deck, uh, <laughs> they would be boned. Um, gonna throw the focus for cards. I think I need stuff, uh, and I'm going to play the Royal Vanguard and the Royal Skirmisher at the top. Um, I might play the pushback on uh, this crossbowman next turn, just to get rid of it, because it's annoying. But, that's, that's a decision for later. Because um, I wasn't too worried, because the only thing that's technically going to attack this turn is the Kinfolk Brave. So... A pushback would have saved me all of two damage on an idol. Not massive issues to me. Uh, hmm. Not actually. Actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push back this crossbowman. Now hear me out, okay? If I move these two down, push back that crossbowman, ooh, bear paw, ooh, nasty. Um, as long as... Ha! 
Ha! Yeah, okay. This actually turns really tricky for him. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't think I actually want that pother. No, I think I think I want to get rid of that pother. So I'm going to sack that for cards. Another imperial resources. Wow. Uh. Oh, actually, I don't need the pushback because this guy isn't necessarily going to attack this turn. But I could use it for safety. Or I could play the next Imperial Resources. Get really beefy. I think you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Watch how there's a haste. And she can kill my Relentless guy. Yeah, see what I mean? Turn 10, this whole thing starts to look a little bit scary. Because uh, one of my points is dead this turn. And then he, uh, she, sorry, could just move down next turn. Wait another couple of turns, kill it again. And it will literally be two turns because the Kinfolk Brave's still in there and still has Bear Paw. Freaking Bear Paw, folks. But what I'm going to do is focus my fight top of the mid lane. Um, see if I can get a good set of dudes going there. So I think what I'm going to do next turn actually is move these guys down, down. Play the Duke of Spearman in front. Um, oh, okay. Is that an evacuation of the mid lane? Is that the play here? Nope, apparently not. Plus health, dude. Okay. Okay. That's actually even better for me because that's just this bottom point gone. Um, less and less worried about that. Uh, okay, so these two pop. Five, three, two. He does that. Uh, ooh, I could decimate. That'd be good damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to decimate. And then he will do two, three, all. Oh, I'd still need some way of doing one more damage. Throw for cards? Oh no, Ducal Infantryman, as opposed to the Spearman. Because these two are going to attack next turn. Okay, so not the Ducal Spearman. Uh, let's throw the Skirmisher though for cards and see what we get uh, another speed not bad okay so decimate and this all moves down Ducal infantryman goes in there uh, I could actually push back the kinfolk brave that might not be a bad plan or I could still play that Ducal spearman somewhere no, let's push back that Kinfolk Brave, because that Dryadic Power, uh, not the Dryadic Power, sorry, the, um, the, the words, words are happening to me. Uh, the Bear Paw will obviously just keep buffing him up, which does not please me. Okay, it's not looking too awful. I've got a couple of speeds. Hastes. All hastes. Everyday hastes. Ooh, Kinfolk Brave. Ah. Right. What I'm thinking is... Uh, the two speeds. That's six. Uh, purification can go away or summons can go away if I sack it for resources I can play the Duke of Spearman as well but where would I play it I'm not starting another row 
let's sack it for cards and see what we get. Ooh, kabonk. Duke of Skirmisher. Nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the speed. We're going to play this speed. Uh, six. Ooh. Uh, bumper dum, bumper dum. Oh, he needs him down here. Oh, balls. Screw it. Let's just keep them all in a row. Uh, four points to this. Uh, four damage to this point. Uh, kabonk unnecessarily should have kabonked the plus health dude. Oh well. Yeah, what I, uh, my problem there was the fact that this um, plus attack guy was needed in either lane to kill. So I'd rather keep the vanguard a little bit more protected. Um, see, now the fact that this guy had board control but doesn't have hand dominance in any way, shape or form is going to start hurting. Okay, managed to kill off my... Ooh, managed to kill off a load of my stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm back down to the Royal Vanguard. Uh, oh, I'm down to nothing. Oh, well, let's start a new row, shall we, folks? Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to, for the moment, I'm going to set that for cards. Just so that we have some cards down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the uh, Spearman and the... No, sorry, the Vanguard and the Skirmisher. Uh, because I don't think that this, uh, that Moa can get as much damage down next turn as, um, as she did this turn. Because she hasn't got five in the growth section. Uh, which means the chances are there's, well, there's no Kinfolk Brave, uh, no Kinfolk Veteran to throw down. So, you know meh uh, so I want these two on the same timer so I'm going to uh, throw down the spearman next turn um, possibly stones somewhere as well I don't know I might stones middle and spearman like second bot okay moving up to engage that's not a good sign kinfolk brave at the back haste 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 yes no hastes Yes, okay. Mm. I am going to play the Spearman at the front there. But first, uh, I'm going to sack for cards, I think. Hmm. Yes, let's sack for cards. Uh, Poth is not a big deal, but the Waking Stones and the Flip I might need later. Decimation, eh? Definitely don't want to play the stones yet, then. Um, I can spearman and then I can skirmish her at the top. Or I can spearman and then stones there, but then that gives him a place to go where... Oh, well, if it kills it next turn, it kills it next turn, doesn't it? Uh, but then again, the stones... Mm, but if it's if it's older growth, there's going to be a pother in there. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to play that. Just because it means there's less cards. It it means that they need a pother or a flip or something. And I'm going to play the general up the top there. Just so he's a little bit out of the way. Uh, and we'll see what happens next turn. Because it means things like uh, Raging Bull. Because a Raging Bull would mean that my Ducal Spearman would get cut down in these two, and he's doing four damage. Any more damage, and the Ducal Spearman's going to drop first, and then there's straight damage going through to, to these two guys. I don't want that. Wow! That is... Okay, I know Growth Order decks, they splash the order. 
I've never really seen anyone go this deep into it. Perfect, thank you for moving up. It means I don't have to decimate my own point. Love it. Uh, Dryadic power. Ooh, pain. Lots of pain. Seven health, eh? With Dryadic power. <laughs> I have a plan. Watch this. This is funny. Uh, okay, I need two for the flip. Three for the decimation. Four for the spearman. That's uh, uh, five, nine. I have exactly enough. So I'm going to throw. I'm going to keep this other decimation actually. Uh, hold on, let's do some maths here. No, no, I need to. Yeah. With the Dryadic Power, it just makes this flip so hilariously overpowered that that just that is definitely a thing I'm going to do. Uh, the Decimation, I'm going to throw that... I'm actually going to throw that for cards because I'm only going to have one card next turn. Okay, more Spearman, more Decimation. Decimation, go down. Decimation, go down. Boom. Uh, mm, yeah, he's still needed, unfortunately. But... Can move him up. Move him up. Oh, I could have I could have just moved him out and then focused and then he wouldn't have been needed. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that was a bit dim of me. Oh well, you live and learn, don't you folks? That seems to be my favourite phrase at the moment. Ha, <laughs> actually, I didn't need to do anything. I forgot that he gives plus up health. I need to remember these things better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can tell I feel good about how this game is going at the moment. Even though I've already got one point destroyed, another on three, another on four. Uh, okay. Plus up attacks, fun times. But I do have spearmen. And spearmen are funny. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him down. I'm going to move him down. Move him in there. Uh, play the Spearman. Mm, I should have thrown away first, shouldn't I? Err, uh, herp a derp. Uh, oh well. It's, no. See, I want to play all of these next turn. I really do. Uh, the haste, I think, is going to be the most important one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this for cards because once again I'm getting to the point where oh <laughs> he's going to be doing 5 damage but he's not going to be relentless so this guy more important yeah okay see what I was thinking there was the fact that if the Royal Vanguard goes down that's you know more damage everywhere but uh, he's not relentless, which means that his damage is a little harder to get to where it needs to be. Uh, and fortunately, when this guy moves down, it's not going to be moving into the path, path of this Gravehawk attack. Um, uh, also, the dog is either dead or doing one damage to a stones. So, I can live with that. Unfortunately, my general's a little bit out of position at the moment, but that can be dealt with later. Okay, yeah, move it up. Move it on up. Uh, just makes them easier to kill, I think. I could be wrong, but yeah, I think that just makes everything a little easier to kill. He will do the three damage. He will then do three damage to this thing and one damage to the point behind. Let's see what cards you play, Moa. Or is that Mua? Is it meant to be Mua? I really don't know. Oh, GG. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think my computer's starting to melt. It might be time to quit. Oh, there we go. It was a long enough game that we actually got a decent amount of gold. So I'm going to go buy a scrolls pack. New rating of 60, uh, 1767. Not bad, folks. Uh, yeah, upload it. Why not? Uh, profile. Rating 1767. And ranking of 485th. 
Not bad. Not bad. Right, let's go to the store. Store, buy things. Buy the many things. From the tiny little man with the big glasses. Uh, scrolls pack. Thank you. Horn of Ages. Um, I have literally never seen this played. Like, apart from by the AI, and it was more annoying than, like, defeating. Oh no, I take it back. I did see someone play it once against me, and I purified one of the guys who it had stopped moving and won the game with it. I think. Yeah, that was ages ago. Uh, yeah, so basically it stops all of your guys moving. It can be countered reasonably easily by like uh, Potha, Flip sort of, uh, Transposition-ish, um, New Orders, Bean Potion, you know. There's a lot of ways to counter it, but most of them are in order, so... Uh, again, another, you know, going to stop your creature moving. It's only one casting cost, but it is a permanent. Uh, Elan Vital. Elaine. Elan Vital. Yeah. Uh, each enchanted unit is healed by one each round. Not a bad card. I think there are better, though. So, uh, Clock Library. See a fair amount of these playing against orders. They like to have them because they're basically their version of um, fertile soil. But don't need to sacrifice a creature for it. Just need to be able to get through four turns. I also see a lot of uh, overdrived or overclocked played on it. Which feels a little bit counter. I've explained this before. I've discussed this before. The fact that you're paying two cards to get free. Seems pointless. Charge coil, annoying as all hell, but not by themselves game winners, certainly. It just start to force your attack off to the side. Tick bomb, destroy target structure. Rarely see this played anymore, um, which is weird because the waking stones are coming back into fashion a little bit, so meh. Maybe we'll see them a bit more. Possibly we'll see them played against things like. Uh, Ultima Forges and that sort of thing. Ragged Wolf, really nice card. Um, you know, one casting cost for a 1 2 2 creature, but it has haste. Um, so, if you have some way of upping its damage, say an Ancestral Totem, or you're going to play a, uh, a Raging Ball that turn, quite a nice way of getting some quick damage down. I, I like those cards. Like, if I was playing some growth, I'd be definitely running as many of them as I could lay my hands on. Um, Ranger's Bane, annoying card again, but as an order, of... oh wait, I don't even have my sacrifice stuff anymore, I don't play with uh, Power Bound or Heritage in my deck at the moment, uh, but I do still play with the Purify, <laughs> which, you know, if it comes up while there's uh, a poison on your guy, you're going to go, yeah, sure, I'll take that off. But most of the time, you're going to be going, Why have I not got my purification? My guy is just going to die. It's, yeah. So one damage over, sorry, over three turns. Uh, Ember Bonds. Every time a unit attacks, it receives two damage before it attacks. So um, if you have a creature on two health, it will die before it actually does the damage. I did not realise when I first saw this that it receives two damage every time it attacks. I, I, I for some reason went spell as opposed to enchantment. This is a, permit, a permanent. This will stay in the deck. Uh, this will stay on the card, sorry. Right then. The rare. Ooh, Thunder Surge. I hadn't pulled any of these yet. This is a hateful card to play against Alder. I despise playing against this. Like, as much as Quake is evil, it also damages their side of the board. As Alder, my guys are going to be grouped up. So, this does the same amount of damage as a Quake, but doesn't have the downside. It is evil. Anyway. Right, that was all the cards. Awesome source. And let's, uh, yeah, let's end it there, shall we, folks? I should probably 
finish up some of my revision for tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is my exam. So hopefully once you guys see this, I will have passed. Or maybe hopefully done slightly better than just passing. Um, but yeah, I've got to go and vaguely prepare for that. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.